Well, boys, we made it to DC. We're in the airport here. We're trying to catch a flight back to Milwaukee. Um, we were lined up good, and then we got delayed. So we got delayed like an hour. But now we just moved gates across the airport. So we got to hit her over to E58. Bye. <laughs> And then we're gonna try to catch a flight. The bad thing is that I gotta catch a shuttle at the airport back in Milwaukee, back to my truck, and that closes at midnight. So I gotta make sure I'm back to Milwaukee by midnight. And uh, we're gonna be cutting her close because we got like a two and a two and a half hour flight, two hours, 15 minutes or something. So we're gonna be cutting her, but we're hustling. Body wanna crash, body wanna crash, body. <laughs> oh shit. Well boys, fast forward about three hours. I was at that gate. We had to run to this gate because the gates got switched. Been here for two hours. Now our flights get canceled overnight. Um, so I haven't been in this situation before. I'm by myself. Buddy's stuck in DC. Doesn't even know what he's doing. <laughs> I hope we get a hotel or something. I don't know how this works out, but it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Something with staff, I think. Staff issues or I don't know. But we're uh, we're screwed. We're having a we're having a bad night. <laughs> Literally turns back a little to the last thing. Holy, I think we have something figured out. So they're putting me in a hotel tonight. Um, I have a, a 10 a.m. flight tomorrow morning into Madison. And then I have to catch a taxi from Madison to Milwaukee. And then I have to call my shuttle back to the hotel where my truck's at. Then I can drive home. So I should be in my truck right now driving back up home in Wisconsin. But I am stuck overnight in Washington, D.C. Um... I'm pretty sure I picked the best option because I could have picked a flight into Milwaukee, but I would have had to fly into Chicago when they have a 10 hour layover all day tomorrow and I wouldn't get home till like 10 p.m. So I said, screw that. So I'm going into Madison and I took the taxi option. So I got to just, whatever. I got vouchers here. They got me all figured out. <laughs> I feel like an idiot, but I have to go. Now I have to go down the stairs to door eight and then I get my taxi to my hotel and then I got to be back in the morning by like 9 a.m., 8.30. Uh, it's gonna be an absolute mess, but hey, this is part of traveling, you know? You just gotta roll with the punches. It's been an absolute, it's been a, it's been a, um, a very interesting trip, let's put it that way. Uh, not everything's went as planned, but hey, we're, uh, we're, we're just trying to finish it out strong. I gotta make it home in one piece. We're getting there. <laughs> Boys, we made it to the hotel. Got our room 514 here. Got her all checked in. Let's see what she looks like. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hell yeah, bud. It'll work. Okay, so here's the deal. So we got a... Um, we gotta catch the shuttle at 7.30 a.m. My flight's at 9.30, and I just, there's a there's a 7.40 and an 8.10, and I just feel like catching the earlier one just to be safe. I saw some DiGiorno pizza down there. I might go crush one of them, but cool. I got a voucher for the morning. Go get breakfast. Holy dick, dude, that's a big bathroom. <laughs> the thing is, dude, I have none of my clothes. Like, I'm just gonna, I have nothing. I have, this is all I got. That's all I own right now. So, yeah, nice room. Overlooking uh, Washington, D.C. here. Buddy's locked up. Running a solo mission. Downtown D.C. with the boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I look good. Shout out Chase. <laughs> okay, we're doing well. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's see what else is going on here. Cosetto? <laughs> There's a guy. There's a guy down there. <clears throat> He walks in, he's like, damn, they put you in a good-ass hotel, too. <laughs> it was so funny. Like, this shit, five stars, here. 
we were all just on the floor rolling. It was fun, a fun group, you know, fun little group here. Hey, once again, not the ideal outcome, obviously. This trip has been a whirlwind. Um, the, video the video before this was the actual main trip. I'm probably gonna make this its own video because this is an absolute disaster and it's kind of funny. Um, and I like to make the videos like so I can look back on them and laugh at myself when I get older. Um, so yeah, so Maine was an absolute disaster. Um, I, I can't even believe this is how I'm finishing the trip. I would be home probably, yeah, it's pushing midnight. I'd probably be home right about now if I was back in Wisconsin. But um, instead I'm stuck here in DC. But I don't want to crash. <laughs> but I want to crash, buddy. <laughs> but I want to crash. <laughs> so, dude, we got everything in here. I'm going to take a hot, steamy shower. Just got to make sure I'm downstairs in the AM at 730. I'm going to catch the 740 back to the airport. And I get a meal at the airport or at the hotel. Not sure which one I'm going to take yet. Both are, the this hotel is kind of bougie, actually. I'm kind of surprised they put us up here. But um, hey, I'll take it. One thing I just thought about, I can't imagine, is imagine being an airline and having a flight get canceled and you got to figure out all that stuff for all your passengers, dude. How do they even do that? That just crossed my mind. Like, how do you organize that much chaos in a timely manner? I don't know, man. That's a crazy, that's a crazy world that I do not understand. And I don't think I want to understand it. Someday when I have my private jet, dude. I'll just hop in my jet and go. There'll be no delays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Just be a nice bathroom here. <laughs> mm. Yo, what up, dude? Gotta go, uh, it's 6.51. I gotta take a shower. And then we gotta go, we gotta get moving. <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta go downstairs and eat. And then uh, get the 740 shuttle. So we got like 45 minutes. But I wanna crash, but I... One last look at uh, her view here. <laughs> it's not much, is it, but I... we're uh, gonna go downstairs to our shuttle. My two bag. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. My two bags here. We're gonna go downstairs, catch the 740, get back to the airport. And uh we'll see you guys somewhere along that ride. Good morning from Washington, DC. This has been, uh, I'm tired for sure. I mean, it is what it is, but I'm... Morning. 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 They have a nice restaurant here. I just don't have time to eat. I could eat here if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. All right, guys. Good morning, day two, DC. <laughs> we uh, made it to the airport. Gotta go back through security, get my stuff lined up. Flight leaves in an hour and a half, I think, so we're sitting really pretty, but I took an earlier shuttle just to be safe. So, go through TSA, and my bag's already checked, so I'm good there, but get her lined up, and we're gonna go get some grub. Body got a crash. All right, boys, we made it through TSA. No, we are uh, gonna go find our gate. E something, I gotta look it up again, but I think we're E something.
A little surprise flight just got delayed another hour. Gotta love it, you know. It's just, it's just how she's been going. Called my happy ass all the way back across the airport because I thought uh, my gate got switched. Got to the other gate, phone notification. Flight got delayed till 10:40 a.m. But holy hell, this is brutal. This sucks, dude. Did not plan on being here this long. <clears throat> Gotta keep grinding through. We did it, boys. We're getting on. We're doing it. <laughs> we made it. One last flight. DC to Madison. See ya in Madison. Okay, so update. We uh, made it to Madison, Wisconsin here. We just landed, came from DC. Now we have to um, figure out this taxi situation. So they gave me a card for these two cab companies in Madison and she was straight up with me. She's like, she said they're kind of spotty. So I don't know, we gotta make sure we uh, get one lined up here. It's a long haul, but the whole, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather taxi than uber because every obviously it's all covered by the airport so but yeah we made it from dc to madison so at least we're back in the home state that's all that matters really uh, now we just got to figure out how to get back to the airport in Milwaukee so then i can get back to the hotel where my truck is so we're gonna call these companies all right so i booked a cab i got one for union right from union cab right here they'll be here very shortly it would have cost me 310 dollars to get to milwaukee airport but I have the voucher, obviously, from the airport, so they covered it, which is nice. I know what I'm getting into. I was in Maine for the last week, and they, uh, they flew into DC. I had to lay over in DC, but all my flights got canceled, so I've been there since last night. Oh, because and of then, the problem. Yeah, well, the weather <laughs> Crazy was horrible. Weather, yeah. yeah, and then, um, and then they had this Madison flight and they're like well we'll pay for your taxi back to the Milwaukee airport because my truck's there of course because that's where I flew out of oh so we're getting your truck yeah well oh, so or, or... my truck's actually at a hotel because I did one of the park and ride or the park and fly things okay so I got to go back to the airport and then call my shuttle for the hotel just to get back to my truck you can't just I can't just take you to your hotel well as I did Milwaukee well, I guess you could yeah I mean if you know yeah I'll, I'll look it up I gotta remember what the name was but you would do that though. I, I guess mean, it's the same. Because our, it's, our it's, rate to Milwaukee is what it is. You know? Okay. Yeah, I mean it's like two miles from the airport. I remember. They're not gonna know the difference. Okay. I mean it's that would be a lot. It would. It would be. Yeah. Yeah, that would be silly. No, that'd help a lot if you actually. I'll, I'll look up the I, name. I can see though. where technically this voucher. Is, no, they would actually. If they had known you just wanted to go to the hotel. Yeah. Okay. They just probably assumed you needed to go to the airport. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, they probably thought my truck was at the airport. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yeah, sense, yeah. yeah. You freaking did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that was a crazy trip for me. <laughs> so you just want to get to your truck? Yeah, I'll just I'll just go in there first cuz I got to Yeah, I'll go inside. I got to check it out. <laughs> oh, made it. Holy living balls, bro. Just went, just got back. We're back at the hotel. Look at the Ford. <sighs> oh, shoot. 
This is not good. Buddy's, buddy's got the slides on and two feet of slide. Nice. Let's see if she starts. Oh, she did not like that, boys. We got her going. Time to get to work. Well, boys, as you can see, my face is frozen, but I think we we got it enough to where I'm gonna I'm going. I can't do this anymore. I just have to get home. I got everything cleared off enough. Windshield's good. Windows are good. Mirror's good. I'm not even gonna touch the back window because that's gonna be an absolute nightmare. This was an absolute disaster of a closing to uh, the main trip, but I made the best of it. I mean, maybe you guys could learn from something I did. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, my mouth's frozen. I can't really talk right now. But yeah, I think uh, I think this is a good little video, and I think I'll laugh at myself in a few years. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, buddy Jaren out. Thank you.